Okay. Bye. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hey. Gaga, what is up? <laughs> oh, that was a risk, you know. When you go to air, you're never quite sure. The phone rings, you're like, let's just do this thing. And there you are like magic. What's up, man? Surprise. Surprise. <laughs> I just feel like you've been driving around in your car right now with an amazing record, but a tank of gasoline that you haven't shown anybody. And in the last four days, you've taken that tank of gasoline out, set fire to your record and your project, and everything has exploded. That's how it feels to me. Thank you. That's so cool. I'm like really happy. And I had such an amazing time performing at the Super Bowl. It was like, I wish I could relive it over and over again. It was one of the like most like exceptional performances I've ever seen on a stage that big in an environment that I'm sure that pressured. Um, and just right from the second you started singing, of course, we're going to talk about this video, which has just gone exclusive on Apple Music, directed by the amazing Jonas Ackerland. But we have to talk about the Super Bowl for a second, because from the second you started singing that, you know, it, it, it just felt like, and performing, you just felt like you were in the pocket. Thanks. You know, I really had... Uh a real sense of like being in the zone for this performance. And I worked on it for a really long time. It took months to put it together. Mm. And then I trained really hard for it. And I just, I really loved it. You know, every second of it, I just wanted to give the world and my fans what they deserve, you know, which is a great show. How did you feel when you were sitting on the pitch? Because I know that there were photos and footage of you sort of sitting on the pitch, having photos taken and stuff before it all kicked off. And I suppose for people, very few artists get a chance to experience that kind of excitement on that level. Um, how does it feel hours before something like that happens? It's really exciting, you know, and I wanted to enjoy the moment, not just, you know, uh, be so you know hell bent on everything that I didn't get to like have a second with my family so uh, when we first got there I just asked my dad and some friends and my mom to go out to the field with me and it wasn't planned or anything and we just took a bunch of photos at the 50 yard line and it was super fun were they actually in the crowd when you when you said hi to them from the stage yes. you, just, you could see them that's amazing Zane I swear to you I was singing million reasons and I looked down and my mom and dad were right there wow. it was so it was I had no idea they were going to be there that's I think that's why I said hi mom and dad because <laughs> I was so like it was like one of those moments where you're shocked and it was so surreal to be performing you know at the super bowl and to see my parents in the crowd it's such a beautifully personal moment because it's such a beautifully personal album that has been so heavily influenced as you as we've spoken about on the record before by your family and by the challenges and the, and, and life's swift turns that family life can bring and so for you to be singing that song on a stage like that and see them there it's sort of that's full circle right yeah, it was special uh, in a lot of ways. I think that I returned to my family and to my roots on this album in an effort to rediscover myself and why I fell in love with music. And I felt like I really had that on the stage that night. It was like I understood something about myself and I, I feel like I finally really know who I am in an even deeper way. And you know, it was super cool, man. It was I'll never forget it. So one more thing about Super Bowl 51 before we talk about this video, because it's incredible. Um, and I have to I have to talk about the fact that you descended from the rafters of a stadium. <laughs> yeah, um, it was super high and super uh, scary at first, but I really made the decision on January 1st. It was I was like, you know what, I'm going to do this and. And once I made the decision, there was no going back. I made a deal with myself that I wasn't going to get nervous. And I just I just did it. The hardest part was after coming down, the, you know, g like regaining my sense of composure yeah. and like where my adrenaline wasn't too high for the rest of the performance. Because if your adrenaline's too high, you can't, you know, breathe, um, <laughs> breathe. Yeah. And already I'm holding my breath pretty much for 13 minutes trying to do all that. <laughs> So, like, I need some air. <laughs> what does it look like when you're when you're descending down on a harness? I mean, look, John Bon Jovi made that popular, but you took it to a whole other level. I mean, when you're coming down from a rafter that high and you're looking at the pitch surrounded well, by 100,000 people at the world's biggest sporting event, what is going through your mind? I was 70 feet in the air, and I was coming down. And, you know, I got to say, like, I just felt like I was exactly where I was supposed to be. You know, once the lights come on and I can hear the fans screaming and the, you know, the boom of the pyro going off, all the fire just burning all around me. 
I mean, that's just what makes me, you know me, Zane. Yeah, yeah, that's what makes yeah. me feel alive. That's a day at the office for you, mate. Seriously. Yeah, <laughs> a good day. A good day at the office. Did you know you smashed it? Did you know you freaking smashed it when you walked off that stage? Because everyone was pretty much saying unanimously that you crushed it. Did you know when you got off the pitch, I nailed that? You know, I think that I knew that I gave it everything I had in me. Uh, I knew that I'd prepared and I knew that I, you know, on top of doing what I had rehearsed, I added that extra bit of heart to the performance. You know, I, like I say sometimes backstage that, you know, marathon runners, they run 15 miles miles before and or 18 and then they run 26 mm. for the real one. Mm. And I say that I run like 35 or 50. You know, it's like I just I always like to take it one step further to the point where I like, you know, I I can't go any uh, harder. And I felt that. And I was really happy I caught the football. <laughs> <laughs> of all the things, if you'd fumbled that ball at the end, that's all anybody I never thought about. Seriously, no, I, I, Zane, I, the night before, I like, <laughs> what, like was going to sleep and I looked up at the ceiling and I was like, what is wrong with you? Why on earth did you think it was a good idea to try because it was my idea to try to catch a football and then you know mm. fall 15 feet into a pit of foam <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> I, I can't get past that image now of you finishing this triumphant 13 minute performance you've just crushed it in 25 foot heels for 13 minutes flown down 70 feet from the top of a stadium danced around fire can, can completely brought your catalog to the world stage and then you fumble a football would have just been oh big. my i couldn't i mean it just it was not a possible and i and you know how culture is like they'll nitpick the smallest oh thing. that would have been it that would have been and it like, that's all that ever anyone would have talked oh, about. Daily but, Mail, the headline would have been Gaga fumbles Super Bowl performance. Yeah. You see it. Biggest it, fumble. Been... it would have been like biggest fumble of the night or something. <laughs> I would have been devastated. Um, <laughs> but was... I fought for it, man. You I did. fought for it. Because I, I thought to myself, you know, if I can do all of that and then catch the football, that's like that's a real touchdown. You, you bet know? at 100, man. You absolutely bet at 100 and you crushed it. And since then, everything has just been moving at such a rapid pace. You've experienced this before. Um, you know, you've caught lightning in a bottle before with your records and, and it, it goes really fast. Um, you know, your latest album, Joanne, came out and it's a deep and emotional listen. And, you know, your audience and people are discovering it every single day. But once again, you're in that slipstream. You know what I mean? It's, it's pretty cool. I mean, I'm just super grateful to still be making music and have the opportunity to connect with people on a, you know, world level like that. And I was went to Starbucks yesterday and like I got like a, not attacked, but like swarmed by, you know, a whole bunch of people that were cheering and it was super sweet That's great. just to right. see like so many people from all different walks of life, you know, much older people, younger people, people in between all races, ethnicities, mm. sexual orientations, you know, it's, it's cool. It, that's, and that's what I'm all about is bringing people together through music. The tour has been announced now, the world tour. Um, it's official. You're going to be taking this album and your music out on the road. You've got this huge boost now from the Super Bowl, which is great. So you know you've got the wind at your back, which is exciting. Um, I'd imagine rehearsals are well and truly underway. If not, you feel comfortable and confident with what you're about to deliver on the, you know, to the world. Well, actually, um, I'm first going to film a movie and then I'm going to go on tour. Wait, oh, my God, you got Star is Born. Yeah. Oh, my God. How are you going to so, do that? That's crazy. Well, right now I'm finishing the score uh, for A Star is Born uh, with uh, Bradley and some other fantastic uh, producers and collaborators. Mm -hmm. And then I'll shoot the movie. And then after that, I will go on tour. And it's it's super great, though, because after doing the Super Bowl, you know, the Super Bowl is not all that different from what we like to do on tour. And people love our shows for that reason. Mm. It's a real, you know, athletic show always. And uh, we, we give it our all. So, you know, we're kind of ahead of the game, if that makes sense, because we're already like really ready. Are you loving the movie? Are you feeling comfortable in the role? Do you, have, have you, do you feel like, you're, you know, you've made it your own and, and, and you've, you feel like you're on the right path now to, to completing that film? Oh, yeah. 
I mean, I mean, the best part about making this movie is working with Bradley. I mean, he's such an, a genius and an incredibly hardworking, focused, ninja-like human being. Mm. And we've really become such great friends. And, you know, it's just really tremendous to be able to work with him all the time on the project you know he's he's just very inspiring we have a video to talk about i'm trying to get there but you've given us too much information and it's just like there's too many stops on the road we're on a bus i'm, I'm trying to get i'm trying to get you home gaga but there's too many stops on this bus now I've got, I've got one more stop on the bus which is this weekend you're going to perform with one of my favorite and the favorites of millions of people around the world you know really founding fathers of modern heavy metal metallica um and you know I, I mean, that's just going to be a powerful combination, the five of you on that stage. Um, you know, where were you when that was suggested to you? How did you feel? I mean, just paint that picture before we get to see it this weekend. I actually was at Bradley's house with Lars, and we were just, like, hanging out. Um, hey, what's up? Oh, Gaga, um, you know, um, I was wondering, um, would you like to, like, maybe um, jam with Metallica, um, you know, this weekend, um, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I have to do it. It literally is him. I have to do it. He's amazing. I got to tell you something. I went to see them live. Uh, I mean, I've seen them a couple times live, but I saw them live recently. Um, And what are you eating? Mango. Oh, nice. (laughs) And we were watching the show, and I'll tell you something. Those guys play better than they've ever played in their whole life. Oh, my God. (laughs) My assistant just walked by and took the mango away from me. Give it! Oh my mortified. god! Hey, I want a hashtag right now. I know there are little monsters all over the world, and I'm not the kind of person that canvasses for hashtags. I'm not a politician, but I'm going to push for a hashtag right now. Right? I want free the mango. Hashtag free the mango, and free, I want free my mango. Free my mango. <laughs> free my mango. So I can't say that. You can say that. I can't say that. All right. All right. Um, <laughs> it's going to be exciting. Right? Let's talk about this video. <laughs> John Wayne is one of the most sort of exciting songs on the record. And you spoke Thank to us, you. you know, you know, when we spoke at the end of last year about this album, and you said that, you know, it explores that desire for danger and, and why yeah. are you consistently attracted to dangerous men? And you, you went as far back as talking about your father and why he's a dangerous man. And it was a great quote. Um, so when it comes to putting visuals in a video together for that, and, and let's, let's lead into working with the incredible Jonas Ackland because music video directors yeah. deserve respect. Um, and directors Absolutely. in general. So tell us a little bit about this this kind of treatment because it's up on Apple Music now for a week. People can watch it. So let's get some words before they do. Well, you know, I have known Jonas for a really long time, Jonas Ackerlin, and we have been wanting to work together again. And for this song, I thought, you know, he and I would just be perfect to do this together. So um, he directed the music video, but the way that we usually start when we work is he likes to download from me all my visions about the song. Mm. So I'll tell him, you know, I envision me on the back of a horse with a guy and I'm about to fall off and no matter how fast he goes and how much it hurts, like I keep hanging on and I look like I'm enjoying it. And uh, you know, I, a scene with me and a guy in a car and we're getting, you know, uh, too reckless and we show how reckless uh, love can be. Uh, so, you know, I took him through a whole bunch of different scenarios like that. And then he helps, you know, to weave it together into a story and a, and a music video. And that's what I like about him, too, is he has a very cinematic approach, but also he doesn't forget to make it a real music video it's an amazing uh, video it's really incredible i mean you thank know, you. as well as a star is born which is forthcoming you're sort of auditioning for mission impossible 12 as well in this i mean it's some serious you know i did on. my own stunts in john wayne so that the the uh, no, not, they, they, not all okay not all of them, i was so. gonna say i have to pause you there because like if, if i've heard from me like this is the I classic acting I cliche that, yeah. i did all my own stunts well nearly all my own stunts mainly nearly the non-dangerous ones but I still i won't tell you which ones i I didn't do, but I'll, I will tell you that um, I that's me the whole time, like on the car when I'm uh, on top of the car going like really fast. Were you, brick- were you bricking it? I mean, come on. I know you're like danger. I, I was in high heels going from the trunk to the top of the car and then flying into the front seat and 
my mother and fa- like she was literally screaming at me. She she's like, you have to do the Super Bowl. <laughs> yes, you do. Your Lady Gaga. That's what the song is about. Um, so this is the video right now, and it really is an incredible, an incredible thing to watch. You must go check it out. I mean, there's so many people who are tapped into Beats One right now, so it's right there on Apple Music. Yeah. You know, one more tap, go check it. Yeah, it's exclusive on Apple Music, and um, it's so awesome to see like the internet is just exploding and everybody's on uh, line talking about it. We're getting a little free the mango okay. love going on as well. Hashtag's kind of moving a little bit, just FYI. Oh my gosh, is it free the mango or free my mango? I decided to go with free the mango because I just because we're a family show. Oh, got it. This is a family show. Absolutely not. <laughs> 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 this is not a family show. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you one more question, then we're gonna let you go. We're gonna play John Wayne. Um, you know, you've worked so hard for this moment again because you know you believed in a record. You, you, you gave us something that was deeper, you know, and and more personal. And you know, you came back with something that was very honest. And now that you know you're in a situation where so much is going on around you, you know, how are you, how are you holding it together? Because this is, this is one of those moments in life where. You know, if you open the door, you open the blind. It's kind of, it's going to come at you, Gaga, full scale, right this very second. And you've been through this, like I said before. How is it different, and how are you? How do you feel about it now? Uh, I've just been through a lot more now, and I'm used to my life changing, and you know, things are different in different countries, and um, it 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 just it's okay. You know, I feel ready for it. My mind is really right. I feel really uh, excited about where my career is going in the future and all the different projects that I'm working on, some that you don't know about. Mm. And uh, I think I'm just going to stay focused on that. You know, all the other stuff is just noise. Well, you know, you, you, you said a powerful message when you're at the Super Bowl without, you know, necessarily going into a, a deep place on it, you know, and it's clear that, you know, you want music to be something that is a universal message right now. And, um, and I think it's probably more, more needed than ever. And, you know, I spoke to, to um, the amazing Thundercat about this, and I was saying, do you think music is going to reflect our times? And he said, absolutely. And and I wonder, you know, do you agree? Do you think we're entering into a time where art is going to step up even more than it has before? Absolutely. I mean, it it always uh, happens. I think history shows us that in times of you know uh, people feeling like they are in need of some sort of rebellion or protest, that the artists rise uh, because you know the poetry that we create about pain and its relationship to culture and the world is something that begins to soothe and heal people that are feeling uh, confused or afraid. Uh, So I think, you know, art is going to make a bigger comeback than ever. And, you know, that's the that's the upside to things getting challenging. Lady Gaga, thank you for coming on the show. We appreciate it. Congratulations for everything that is thank occurring. You. The video is thank on Apple Zane. Music. Good luck finishing the movie. Good luck with Metallica. Good luck okay. with the world tour. Good luck with the world domination. Bye, 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 bye. bye. Love to, I love to I know it's bad. Bye, man. Take care. We love you, Gaga. See you.